Welcome back. This segment of our show brought to you by H&H &H Body Shop in Clinton. Owned by one family since 1960, 56 years in business, and A-plus rating by the Better Bureau, Business Bureau. I know them. They care more about getting your car right than they do just getting your car in their shop. These are good people. I'm glad to have them as a part of the show. They, do, they have room for 80 cars. It is a big, big operation, and yet they treat it like a small town, friendly, neighborly kind of business. H&H &H Body Shop in Clinton. All right. Now, let's quickly, we got Jimmy, Mike, Bob, me. Chuck is over at the big wifey board, and we've written somebody in. You probably can't read it, but Eric Berry. <laughs> you know, when you print 40 names, somehow you lose one on a Photoshop layer. Eric Berry should have been printed out and should have been in the original list. So we got five people that are the most beloved. I think those are right, though. Yes. Manning, Summit, Ward, Wilson, and Barry. Mm -hmm. I think you got your bases covered. Now, uh, if we go back over there, we have a number of people who we, we have nominated some of these people who should be on the list. Casey Clawson, Bobby Denton, Daryl Dickey. Never does anything right. around town. That's a guy that was yeah. a real hero. Doug Dickey, for what he did for UT, he wasn't appreciated, but he was good. R.A. Dickey, long career in the NFL. Jim Haslam played at UT, but the, the amount of gifts, he, look, Pilot doesn't sponsor this show. I've never approached them, so I can say that. <laughs> Personally, that would be the guy I would move over first. Yes. Uh, Reggie Johnson, the basketball player, Dale Jones, Hank Larosella, T. Martin, you know, he didn't want to come back, so that might have hurt his deal. Ray Mears was years ago, Neyland years ago, Tony Robinson. Mike Strange nominated Holly Warlick. There are a lot of people that probably don't agree with you right now. <laughs> Reggie White, Tony White, who was a great ball player, and Bowden Wyatt. Gentlemen, who would you push over? I would push Jim Haslam over first. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and do it, Chuck. Just slide, you can just slide them to the left or right. Just give them a little right. no, notation. There you go. I'd agree with that, yeah, with what all, all the what he's done, the donation. I'd take the one that's uh, two slots ahead of that, too, in Doug Dickey. Okay. I think he was a terrific athletic director that yeah. – uh, some people didn't like him, but I thought he did a great job. Well, I'll take one. He was, a cold, he was a cold fish, you know, but most athletic directors aren't liked because they're the guy. Anytime a coach loses, the AD's the one that hired him, and every year it's, we need more money. <laughs> so yeah. so nobody likes AD's. If he had the, the leaving for Florida thing, that uh – you know, that's still, that's the first thing. And I, there's say. a segment, yep. of, not yeah. everybody, but there's a segment that can't get past that. Right. I'll tell you, somebody that doesn't get much love, I don't think he gets any love, is Casey Clawson. Okay. And, <clears throat> you know, would Tennessee not love to have another run? We don't have to agree on these, Chuck. These are yeah. just, you guys get the call. And I will say this, Philip Homer and Johnny Majors, who we both, John Majors, who we talked about earlier. Yeah. They would be moved over in this sure. segment. Yeah. They should get more love. Yeah. There's a split between those yeah. guys' fans. They should get more and love. And I, Holloway as well. Holloway as well. I would have one with Dale Jones. I mean, I, I think a lot of Tennessee okay. fans have wanted him to come back. To me, he made the most famous defensive play in UT football history. I would have okay. him as one of those. His interception in Alabama, the seal of 16 But before I had Dale Jones, I would have Reggie White, who was you such know. a, I mean, you know, a good guy and a great football player. NFL, one of your, what, three Hall of Famers that have played here? Yeah, and it's funny. He's remembered more for the pros than he is UT, I think. And maybe that's because that was before every game was on television. Yeah. And that was, he played back in the day when you had – Ten games that weekend to watch on TV, so I don't know that people well, he, associate. He had with. the rap of not being a great player till his senior year. Also, yeah, yes. he had that incredible uh, year. How about R.A. Dickey? I mean, I, he's uh, one of Cy Young, right, and he's done a lot of things but, to mention you too. That's good. But here's yeah. what we're now we're just naming all the guys we already yeah. have over there. Right. So let's, <laughs> who do you really think? Of? Robert Nealon probably should be pushed over there, and Ray Mears, shouldn't they? Yes. yes. Okay. Just. But, yeah, R.A. Dickey. Uh, is there anybody else that's not on there? Anybody else I stupidly didn't print out? <laughs> well, I, I'm going to go to bed here again for Holly, for Holly Warlick. Okay. Uh, a Knoxville girl who played, was a great player here, who was by Pat through all those years, who held, the, held things together when Pat was sick and did a pretty darn good job for the past three years. Now, this year has soured everybody on Holly Warlick, but I think if you look at the big picture, She's done a lot that Tennessee fans should love. Very good. I'm probably in the minority on Reggie Johnson. I think he's one of the five or six best players to ever play at Tennessee. The best guy who hasn't had his jersey retired. In my opinion, yeah. Look at his numbers and his pro career. I mean, he was a terrific player. And, and see, I would put Tony White's almost a forgotten man, too. Mm -hmm. He's still around uh, town. That guy was just a scoring machine yeah. uh, you know, during the 80s. You were going to say? Just, and here's the problem with putting this list together. 
Because everybody, I mean, yeah. everybody <laughs> on the list, but they do kind of get watered down a little bit and pushed to the side because you got, I think your point about Holly Work is fantastic. You couldn't find 50 people in Knoxville right now that'll agree with you. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame, but yeah, that's, and that has to play a role also in that Majors Fulmer thing. Those yep. guys both deserve to be up there on the list. They're on the, they're on the Mount Rushmore, if you will, the, the love wall. So, all right. Chuck, you can come back the from the love wall. wall. <laughs> when we come back, uh, t- Tennessee plays Kentucky, and then they got LSU. So we're going to be asking Mark Pankratz, can they beat LSU? We know they're not going to win at Kentucky. Come on back on the Sports Source. <laughs>